So about last night, after the Thunder's game one win, uh, forward Enos Cantor had a little fun with our own Skip Bayless here on Twitter. Let me share this. Cantor retweeted Skip's tweet of, not sure the Thunder can win a single game against the Warriors, with his own message of, sorry, my man. Skip, your reaction. Well, at least Enos, I got to give him this. He, he responded, I, I would say, politely. Is he that, did. It seemed polite. Classy. It wasn't venomously, no. right? Okay, so I give you that, Enos. But, Enos, you're now on notice. I am watching you. You better make those clutch shots. I'll be waiting. I'll be sitting right here every morning, ready <laughs> to... Mm. Mm. Tweet. So, what but, is... but thank you. But here's the point. Yeah. I'm going to explain this one more time. Anyone who follows me, especially during Cowboys or Spurs oh. games, I get crazy emotional, over emo I, I'm, I admit you? it all the time. Me, I, oh. I go out of my mind. I'm not rational while I'm tweeting. And if you go look at my timeline, you will attest to that. You'll say, you're out of your mind. Stream and of I'll, consciousness. Yes, and I'll say, you're right. I'm out of my mind, <laughs> especially my Spurs, who were up two games to one, obviously, after a big win at Oklahoma City in game three. I thought it was a done deal. I thought again and again in fourth quarters of those games, it was going to be a done deal. And when they went colder than Pop's heart during the sideline interviews mm -hmm. in game six in the second quarter, I lost it. And by the fourth quarter, I was so devastated. I tweeted that sometime during the fourth quarter because I was angry. I was hurt. I was. And, and so I, I had to go all the way to I'm not sure the Thunder can win a single game against Golden State. I amended that when I regained some of my senses the next day or next couple yeah. of days, and I picked Golden State in five. So I did give the Thunder mm -hmm. one game when Steph and Clay were cold. Last night was that one game, so I'm going to stick yeah. with my Golden State in five, but obviously it's looking a little more unlikely as we sit here right now. But so congratulations Clay to Clay didn't start out cold, though. No. He was on fire to start the first Clay? half. Yes. yes. He had 19 points, kid. Yeah. Clay Thompson. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. I think what yeah. Inez is really saying, though, is sorry and not sorry. That's what he's, <laughs> that's what he's really saying. Okay, that's fine. But I, he, he deserves to... to he's gloating, to, huh? to gloat. Yes. Except and you're I, just I, letting out your frustration it, on Twitter. Can I remind the Thunder of what my Spurs did to the Thunder in game one of that series? They won 124 to 92, if memory serves, by 32 points. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. And then what happened? And what happened the next day? You, you, were, you were just picking at me, trying to say, it's over, Thanks? it's over. No. Yeah, and I said, it's, I, I said, I'm not falling into this trap. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to remind Enos, he better not fall into the we got them trap. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yeah, speaking oh. of that, Shannon, let's get into this. How much trouble are the Warriors in now? In a little bit of trouble, Skip. Um, as we mentioned earlier in the top, we don't expect Kevin Durant to shoot 10 of 30. No. We don't expect Ru uh, Westbrook to go 7 of 21. Um, Stephen Curry says something that, you know, yeah, he's had time off, but the knee hadn't gotten any better. It hadn't gotten any worse. Skip, he played almost 40 minutes. When was the last time Steph Curry played 40 minutes on a ball game? And they say role players. Mm -hmm. I didn't play in the NBA, but... Everybody I've talked to say role players play better at home. Now, that is correct. OKC role players outplay Golden State on the road. Yep. Um, they're playing with a ton of confidence, Skip. Then, in the words of Skip Bayless, on a scale of one to 10, mm -hmm. 10 being the highest they could possibly be in, eight and a half. You're eight and a half on the trouble scale. Yes. Wow. Absolutely. Eight and a half. That's interesting to put it in that context. So on the 1 to 10 trouble scale right now, I'm going to give Golden State a 3 on trouble. Hey, and I'll tell you why. Stop. Skip. Uh, you know why? Because they have made me, the Warriors, they have made me eat so many words on this show. <laughs> I cannot spurs. tell you. The Spurs. I cannot tell. Not with the Spurs, with everything. With, with anybody, with Cleveland, with, with any big game they play against anybody on a big stage. You just finally give it up and you say, you got me. You, you're just too good. Steph Curry should have won the most improved player this year, as well as his second straight MVP. He is so much better, at least until last night's fourth quarter, than he was in the finals last year when Andre Iguodala was the MVP of the finals. Remember that? Yeah. Okay, so last year, when I least expected it, Golden State was down two games to one to LeBron's team. Yes. With game four to come in LeBron's house. 
Now, clearly, he did not have his man Kyrie and his man Kevin Love. We know that. Yes. But they had Golden State on the run at that point. Yes. And they could not close the deal. Because if they win game four, I'm pretty sure we're having a different conversation right now. I could be wrong. Instead, Golden State showed me something. They showed me their depth of character. They won game four, and they won game five, and they won game six, and it was over. So I'm not going to immediately overreact and write off the Golden State Warriors. I'm not I, can, I can also make the case. This was the best thing that could have happened to the Golden State Warriors yeah. because they know when they went home last night, when Steph put his head back on the pillow, he had to remind himself, we were up 13 and a half. We had them. He made another one of his impossible threes in which he not only made the three, but, but had the presence of mind to try to kick out a little bit and try to get the four-point play with the foul at mm -hmm. the end of the half. Yep. It's just, it's, it's so good because he's, he's able to release and say, I know that's good, so I'm going to try to get the foul here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and he made one lucky shot off the bank, but he made a couple others where you say, that's like Globetrotter stuff, right? Okay, so they know what they can do, what they have done to this team. They know what they did to them for a half. And they know full well they got a little cocky in the third quarter. And you cannot let Westbrook up. You have to keep the heat on Westbrook. Mm -hmm. Because if you let him unleash, he will just, he'll walk all over you. And that's what happened. He was getting to the free throw line and to the basket. And he, when he makes a couple threes, you're really in trouble because he's a poor three-point shooter. Okay? So they know this. So if they come back and put their foot back down on the pedal to metal, and they win game two fairly convincingly, you can't tell me they can't go to Oklahoma City and win at least one game, if not both games. No, they, 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 they definitely could. But I think when Steph Curry laid down, as you so eloquently stated, and locked his fingers behind his head and That's, probably looked up at the ceiling, yep. he probably said, we had a 13-point lead. I was raining down threes from all over the court. Mm -hmm. I stepped into one from about 32 feet he away. Did. Yep. And they came back and beat us when we hadn't lost a game with a 10-point lead at the half in 37 games. We're in a heap of trouble because Kevin Durant's not going to shoot that bad. You're talking about uh, uh, Rus Russell Westbrook going off. Oh, you know what Kevin Durant did to your, t your team in games five and six, the Spurs. So he has one of those games, Skip. Yep. He, think about it. He's averaging 36. He didn't even get to his average, and he shot, you know, 33% last night. Mm -hmm. They're in trouble, Skip. Eight and a half. This team, they believe, and Russell Westbrook said it all along. Kevin Durant said it. They believe they can beat this team, Skip. A lot of teams say it, but they don't have the firepower that the OKC Thunder have to yep. go out there and back it up. They right. got two of the top five, six players in all of basketball yep. on one team, and both of these guys can go get you 40 on a given night. Skip, okay, so you don't, you don't, you don't talk me into it. It's a nine. A nine? nine? It's a nine. You think it's a nine? It's a nine. Okay, you got to change your pick. If no, you, if you go not. to a nine, you have to change no. your Courage pick. Of your if they don't go together. Change. One has to equal the other. It if does. you went to a nine on the trouble scale, you have to go to seven games, no. Golden State and seven. Even How can if, they be? Even if that's the case, Golden, I still believe Golden State's going to win. Now, if I went to a 10, I would have to flip my pick altogether oh, so and go with AKC. Rule. That's the new rule. Yeah. You have to go to a 10. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not there Def yet. DEFCON 10. Yeah, Def yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I'm going to give you one point here. There is a danger that, you, you know, the old expression about don't wake the sleeping giant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to call Oklahoma City a sleeping giant, but I will call them an occasional stumbling giant mm -hmm. because they can't get out of their own way sometimes because Russell and Kevin sometimes get in each other's way and they don't blend, they don't mesh, they don't vibe correctly, especially under fire, fourth quarter fire, which is why they have lost so many leads. Mm -hmm. So I will give you this. There is a danger that you have awakened the stumbling giant because you let it gain some confidence of, wow, we closed a deal. Yep. We, we closed a deal at Oracle. Now, again, they got a little help or a whole lot of help from the referee because they were in danger of not closing the deal if that glaringly obvious call gets made correctly in its Golden State's ball. Who knows what, I, I don't know what happened, but 17 seconds is a lot of seconds. It is a lot of time. With Steph Curry. And Clay. On a mission. You know, like, okay, i got to right the wrong of what I've done so far. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the game, he, he was useless because it was irrelevant and the game was over. But Skip, you do realize that Westbrook had seven steals? It was awesome. What seven he did. steals. Yep.
He was and very he shot, disruptive. He shot 30% from the floor. Yep. Now, the likelihood of him shooting that bad again and the likelihood of Kevin Durant shooting 33% in the same game is what? On a scale of 1 to 10, since you like to do scales. Okay. I, I will give you that. It's not very likely. But you know what's far less likely? What? That Steph Curry will go 1 for 6 in another fourth quarter. Want to bet on that? Okay. I, I would bet you that these two, especially Westbrook, what did he shoot during the regular season? He was like 17% from the three-point line against Golden State. He was pretty terrible. I, the, the one for eight first half was typical of him against Golden State. The 19-point explosion in six minutes of the third quarter, not typical of Russell versus Golden State. I think they can nullify him. Durant is nuclear to me. No one can stop Kevin Durant except Kevin. He, he has to either be off or you're in trouble. You know what I'm going to bet? I'm going to bet when Kevin Durant dropped 40 on him, Tomorrow night, I'm going to bet the look on your face when they go down 0-2 going back to OKC. You, is that your prediction? I, 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 I'll send it in. I, I, I'll, I'll talk to you. You'll send it in. Yeah, send, send it in right now, Jerome. I'm going to bet the look on his face. Send it in on live TV. Steam chicken Come on. Nope. You I'm going to bet, bet the look on his face when you he got to look in that camera. you got to do it. you got to do it. It's a skip look. I need to see the skip look. When you got to look in the camera, you know how you get... Molly. <laughs> oh, when he starts pounding his fist? I know, sometimes I worry that, about his hand. <laughs> that Shannon my Sharp got me a <laughs> It's toughening. Yeah, I know, because you pound this thing. Years. Oh, my god. The table gosh. has a hard time. So, yeah. OK, you, you are, you, the more you talk, the more emboldened you yeah, get. Just and you get the right thunder. to the ledge. Why you don't get you just right to the ledge, thunder. and you won't do it. Panic you, meters are nine. that trigger. The look, the look, the look on his face. Thunder and seven is what you're saying. The look on his face when OKC you, beat I, the I Spurs. think you are talking thunder yeah, and seven. me too. OK, wait a second. If, if you're going to 0-2 down, going to Oklahoma City, Pick the thunder yeah. right now. Panic I give you the right. Nine. I give you the right to switch your pick. I, I'm not gonna right do like, here, right now. I'm not gonna do, do it. Like, don't, do it. No. Have the courage of your conviction. Oh, this Molly. is made for you. Do you have backed yourself Molly. into a corner. How? You okay, the panic meter for the Warriors. You have a nine, you have a three. Yeah. And you have Golden State in six. And you have no, no, I no, five, five. 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 Sorry. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, America. In Golden State in six. Yep. How could yeah, I forget after that tweet? He's got thunder and seven, and he doesn't have the <laughs> yeah, guts to that's say what it. You do. That's just just spill it. Say it. I'll send in that prediction <laughs> later, Skip. I'm, okay? I'm going to give facts. you the right. By the end of the show, if you are so yeah. emboldened, you should go ahead and make that pick. Okay. Thunder and seven. Right. By the end of the show. Okay. You can marinate on that, okay. and then we'll let you okay. redeem yourself. Okay, okay. Shannon? All right. All right. Up next, we are talking your sport, a little NFL. Almost every year, a team that comes back the next year and wins the division, a team that finished you know, terribly, obviously, comes back redeeming themselves. Are the Cowboys that team to do it this year? Darren Woodson, oh boy, there's going to be a lot of Cowboys, will join with that answer next.